today we're gonna talk about thicker casing tide walls. I had it going and I said tide walls. Side walls, I meant to say. Thicker casing side walls or reinforced side walls. Maxis calls it W. What's up guys, I'm Jeff, the founder of Worldwide Cyclery and we talk about tires all the time on this YouTube channel and that's because they are complicated and there are so many options. Today we are going to talk about thicker casing sidewalls or reinforced sidewalls. Maxis calls it double down. WTB has light and tough. Let's dive into what that means and if it's worth it. Well, as far as mountain bikes have come in all these years and all the technology, we still do deal with flat tires, even though they're tubeless, which kind of sucks. Um, mountain bike tires, now that they've been tubeless, flats are less of an issue, although they're still definitely out there. And typically, you probably know if you're watching this video, you hit your tire on a rock and the rim will cut the sidewall or a rock will cut the sidewall or just somewhere on the tire will get a puncture. And sometimes your sealant seals it up, other times it doesn't. Um, depending on where you ride, the style of riding that you do and you know just how heavy you are per se um, can really affect how often you destroy tires or don't destroy tires. A lot of people in the enduro race world were having a lot of issues with flat tires and so a lot of the brands sort of tried to combat that with coming out with heavier tires that just had an overall thicker and stronger casing. That of course is at quite the sacrifice of weight. So. Maxxis tires, their double down casing is about 200 grams heavier per tire. So that's about a half a pound. Um, that's compared to just their regular EXO casing, double down, half pound heavier. That's very similar with all the brands out there. So WTB, another popular tire brand that we like and love and promote, um, those guys have a light version and a tough version. Again, about 200 gram difference, half pound difference per tire. So if you have your bike right now with regular tires and you put a double down or a tougher casing on both ends, it's gonna make your bike an entire pound heavier. So yes, you have some weight sacrifice there, but with that, you also gain some incredible reliability. Because of that thicker casing, you're definitely gonna get less flat. So is it worth it? Does it make sense for you? That really goes back to what issues are you having? Are you getting flats all the time? Are you poking holes in your sidewalls? Are you getting sort of pinch flats? Um, that all depends on you know how fast you're riding, how heavy you are, and the type of rocks and the terrain that you're riding on. So if it's an issue for you right now, then absolutely make that weight sacrifice and then you know because reliability is huge for me personally I definitely want my bike to be strong and reliable out there um, so I like running stuff like that it's kind of why I like to use aluminum rims rather than carbon rims but that's a whole nother video that you guys can check out if you want to see that um, I don't actually run double down tires on my trail bike because most of the places I'm riding my trail bike are not that sharp of rocks and I'm a small guy at 150 pounds so I don't actually go through tires all that often. Um, a lot of people do. Richie Rude, uh, famous uh, you know, enduro racer for Yeti, he got a lot of flats last season and just oh, I think all those enduro racers have experienced a lot of flats over the years and almost all of those guys you'll notice are running the double down casings or the tough casings depending on what brand. I think Schwalbe has some different variations of what their thicker sidewall casing is as well. So. If you're a racer and you're really looking for reliability and you've had issues with puncturing tires, then yeah, they're absolutely worth that added weight penalty. Um, rotational weight can be heavy, but again, if you're solving the flat tire problem, it's absolutely worth it. We wrote a blog post on this topic that we break down some of the more very popular tires that we sell and the differences of the weights between the regular versions versus the thicker versions. Um, so check that out in the video description below. And that's about it. Let us know in the comments, are you guys riding thicker casing tires or have you just kind of stuck with the traditional stuff and do you have problems with it or not? Um, are you looking for reliability, etc.? Make sure to share this video with your mountain bike buddies. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one.